Have you ever wondered why your favorite video game characters make the decisions they do? Perhaps you've noticed patterns, recognized strategies, or even found yourself predicting their next moves. This is where game theory comes into play, an intriguing field of study that focuses on strategic decision-making. Broadly speaking, game theory is the science of strategy, the mathematical study of decision-making among multiple players, where the outcome for each player depends on the actions of all. In the realm of video games, game theory becomes a fascinating tool to understand the complex dynamics of decision-making, from the chess-like tactics and strategy games to the split-second decisions in fast-paced shooters, game theory provides a framework to understand and predict outcomes. It influences how characters interact, how quests are designed, and even how narratives unfold. Now, let's delve into the fascinating history of game theory. The concept of game theory isn't new, in fact, it dates back to the 1940s. But what is this theory all about, and who were the minds behind it? Let's dive into the intriguing world of strategic decision-making. Game theory, in its simplest form, is a mathematical framework designed for understanding situations where individuals or players make decisions that affect each other. It's like a chess game where each move you make influences your opponent's next move. The birth of game theory is often credited to two brilliant individuals, John von Neumann and Oskar Morgenstern. These two mathematicians, through their collaborative work, laid the groundwork for what we now know as game theory. John von Neumann, a Hungarian-American mathematician, physicist, and computer scientist, was a genius in every sense of the word. His work spanned numerous fields, from quantum mechanics to computer science, and of course, game theory. Oskar Morgenstern, an economist and mathematician, was von Neumann's partner in crime, so to speak. Together, they published Theory of Games and Economic Behavior in 1944 a book that served as the cornerstone for game theory. This book introduced the concept of zero-sum games, where the gain of one player equals the loss of the other, and also explored cooperative games, where players can form coalitions. Their work was revolutionary. It changed how we approach decision-making and strategic thinking. It's not just about what's best for you anymore, it's about what's best for you, considering what others might do. From economics to politics, from computer science to biology, game theory has found its application in a multitude of fields. It has fundamentally changed the way we understand and analyze strategic situations. And it didn't stop there. Game theory has since been applied to a variety of fields, including our favorite one, video games. But that's a story for another scene. So stay tuned to find out how game theory entered the realm of pixels and sprites and how it fundamentally changed the way we play and understand video games. From Pac-Man to Fortnite, game theory has shaped the way we play video games. But what exactly is game theory? Well, it's a branch of mathematics that studies strategic interactions, where the outcome for each player depends on the decisions of all. The strategies you employ in your favorite games, whether consciously or not, are often grounded in game theory. Consider a simple game of chess. It's not just about moving your pieces around the board. Every move is a strategic decision that could potentially change the outcome. You're constantly thinking about what your opponent might do next and how you can respond to that. This interaction, this dance of decision-making, is a fundamental feature of game theory. Now let's translate this to video games. Game developers use game theory to create more engaging, challenging, and immersive experiences. For instance, in multiplayer games, game theory can be used to balance different characters and abilities. This way, no single character is too powerful and players have to strategize and cooperate to win. Another application is in artificial intelligence. Game theory can help design AI that is challenging but not unbeatable. It can create situations where the AI can predict your moves and react accordingly, making the game more dynamic and exciting. In strategy games, game theory is used to design complex systems of resources, alliances, and conflicts. Every decision you make can have far-reaching consequences, and the best strategy can often be elusive. This complexity is what makes these games so engaging and replayable. And what about puzzle games? Game theory can help design puzzles that are challenging but solvable. It can create a balance between difficulty and satisfaction, 
ensuring that players are always motivated to solve the puzzle. From the high-paced action of shooters to the strategic depth of real-time strategy games, game theory is a fundamental part of game design. It shapes the way we play, the decisions we make, and the experiences we have. But how did game theory become popular in the gaming community? Enter MatPat. Matthew Patrick, better known as MatPat, brought game theory to the masses. Born and raised in the small town of Medina, Ohio, MatPat was always inquisitive, always ready to ask the next question. His curiosity led him to Duke University, where he studied neuroscience and, you guessed it, theater. This unlikely combination of interests would later form the basis of his unique approach to game theory. After graduation, he tried his hand at acting in New York, but it wasn't long before he found his true calling. In 2011, he launched his YouTube channel, The Game Theorists, combining his love for video games with his passion for problem solving. The Game Theorists is more than just a channel. It's a platform where MatPat applies real-world theories to the virtual world, breaking down complex concepts into digestible content for his audience. His videos delve into the hidden layers of video games, analyzing their narratives, mechanics, and characters through the lens of game theory. His unorthodox approach to game analysis is perhaps best exemplified by his game theory series. Rather than focusing solely on gameplay or graphics, MatPat delves into the science and logic behind the games. He investigates everything from the biology of Minecraft's creepers to the economics of the Mushroom Kingdom in Super Mario. MatPat's unique approach has made game theory accessible to gamers around the world. He's shown us that video games are not just about mindless fun. They're puzzles waiting to be solved, stories waiting to be unraveled. By applying game theory to video games, MatPat has opened up a whole new world of analysis, critique, and appreciation for games. Through his work, MatPat has undeniably influenced the gaming community. He's encouraged gamers to question, to think, to analyze. And in doing so, he's not just made us better gamers, he's made us better thinkers. And that's the power of game theory. It's not just a tool for economists or mathematicians, it's a lens through which we can view and understand the world, whether that world is real or virtual. MatPat's unique approach has made game theory accessible to gamers around the world. MatPat isn't just a YouTube personality, he's a game theorist in his own right. More than just the charismatic host of The Game Theorist channel, MatPat, or Matthew Patrick, is known for his deep dives into the lore, mechanics, and theories of popular video games. One of his most popular theories involves the hit survival horror game, Five Nights at Freddy's. MatPat dissected the game's lore across multiple videos, piecing together a complex narrative that even the game's creator praised for its accuracy and attention to detail. He didn't just play the game, he burrowed into its heart, extracting theories and explanations that had gamers worldwide questioning and rethinking their own interpretations. MatPat's contribution to game theory doesn't stop there. His analysis of the Legend of Zelda franchise, where he proposed that Link, the hero of the game, is actually dead in Majora's Mask, caused a stir in the gaming community. This theory, backed by evidence collected from the game itself, sparked discussions and debates showcasing MatPat's ability not just to theorize, but to inspire critical thinking within his audience. Another notable theory is his take on Super Mario. MatPat suggested that Mario, the beloved hero of the Mushroom Kingdom, might actually be the villain of the story. Using clues hidden within the games, he built a compelling case for this theory, challenging the long-held perceptions of gamers worldwide. It's this knack for questioning the norm, for looking beyond the surface, and for encouraging his viewers to do the same that sets MatPat apart. His theories, whether confirmed or debunked, have changed the way we approach and understand video games. He doesn't just play games, he studies them, he analyzes them, and he challenges our understanding of them. Through his work, MatPat has brought a new dimension to the world of gaming. Game theory and MatPat have had a profound impact on the gaming community. Unquestionably, the realm of video gaming has been significantly shaped by the influence of game theory and the insights of MatPat. The symbiotic relationship between these two entities has led to a revolution in how we approach video games, both as designers and players. 
Game theory, with its intricate principles, has provided a framework for game developers to create more complex and engaging experiences. Developers have adopted the strategies of game theory to design games that are not just about reflexes or shooting accuracy, but about making strategic decisions. Games like Civilization, StarCraft, and League of Legends are clear examples of this influence. They are built on the foundations of game theory, encouraging players to strategically plan their moves, predict opponents' actions, and make decisions that will lead them to victory. On the other hand, MatPat, through his Game Theorist channel, has taken game theory from the realm of academics and made it accessible to the masses. His ability to break down complex theories and apply them to popular games has not only educated gamers, but also changed the way they approach games. MatPat's analyses have inspired gamers to delve deeper into the games they play, to uncover hidden strategies, and to fully appreciate the complexity and depth of their favorite titles. Moreover, MatPat's contributions have also had a ripple effect on the gaming industry. His theories often spark discussions, leading to a more engaged and active gaming community. Developers, in turn, are inspired to create games that offer more depth and strategic layers, knowing that their audience appreciates and understands the complexity brought by game theory. In essence, the influence of game theory and MatPat has transcended the technical aspects of gaming, it has sparked a shift in the gaming culture itself, encouraging a more thoughtful, strategic, and engaged approach to playing video games. Game Theory and MatPat have forever changed the way we play and think about video games. So, the next time you play your favorite video game, remember the game theory behind it. As we've seen throughout this video, game theory is not just a fascinating field of study, it's a crucial component in the world of video gaming. It has its roots in strategies and decision-making processes, dating back to the early 20th century, giving us tools to predict outcomes and make educated decisions. But it wasn't until the advent of video games that game theory truly found its stage. In the virtual realms of gaming, game theory takes on a more tangible form, influencing game mechanics, character interactions, and plot development. It's in these virtual landscapes that game theory comes alive, shaping the gaming experiences we know and love. One person who understood this synergy between game theory and video games is none other than the game theorist himself, MatPat. With his sharp insights and keen understanding of both gaming and game theory, MatPat has left an indelible mark on the gaming community. His contributions have not only entertained millions, but have also shed light on the intricate workings of our favorite games. Through his work, MatPat has demonstrated the real-world applications of game theory, using it as a lens to dissect and analyze video games. His unique approach has not only earned him a massive following, but also underscored the relevance and importance of game theory in our everyday lives. And the impact of game theory and MatPat's work extends beyond the realm of gaming. It's a testament to the power of strategic thinking, the excitement of problem-solving, and the joy of uncovering the hidden layers in the things we enjoy. So, as you venture into your next gaming session, remember the strategies, the theories, and the intricate design elements that have been carefully crafted using game theory. And remember the role that individuals like MatPat play in expanding our understanding and appreciation of this fascinating field. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into game theory and MatPat, make sure to subscribe for more insightful content.